Um, very, very delighted to be here and to um, publicise our 70 miles for 70 years challenge. We're here, of course, and we're looking at marvellous facilities here in the Curragh grounds. We have a development worth 1.75 million. Um, um, we have astroturf pitches here. We have two grass pitches, a youth pitch, a new clubhouse right behind me here. So we have some marvellous facilities here. Um, our underage structure um, runs from under eights all the way up to adult level. And uh, a new initiative that we've just um, commenced recently is um, our new senior ladies team, which we hope will get off the ground uh, when the COVID restrictions uh, lift in, uh, uh, hopefully in a, in, a, in a few months time. Um, at the moment we have maybe about 160 competitors um, out on the ground uh, getting in the miles around the town of Bandesloe. But we also have people um, from different services in the town. We've uh, uh, Bandesloe Youth Services on board, uh, the Deer Park Centre where the Brothers of Charity are on board. We've people from uh, Birmingham, London, Dublin, Longford, J that's just to name a few. Um, Here's challenge. It's a great initiative getting uh, all members of the community out to exercise and it's going to benefit the club and along the St. Teresa's Ward in the Percy Ancla Hospital which is an important factor because the hospital has been front line in supporting people during the COVID pandemic and it's great to give them the support so everyone get out there run walk do what you can and we'll try and get this moving and get going with it thank you very much I suppose I feel that more than ever people were missing that sense of community and that sense of togetherness that a club can offer. Um, so over the last few days when we've been out and about doing the challenge ourselves, it was fantastic to see other people out in their families or their own little bubbles, um, all working together for the same challenge. Um, and for me it just highlighted, I suppose, the, the fantastic support that we're receiving from the community in this, but also the sense of community spirit and pride not only within our club but within our town and our community. We just feel as a club, um, the frontline staff have went really above and beyond during this pandemic and this was a small way of saying thank you very much.